Hey Floss Tube, it's Jo here and welcome to my ninth Floss Tube video. Um, yeah, March update. Sorry, I look really tired today. I'm really so I'm just I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been it's been a week. Um yeah, so let's uh, jump into it. I worked on in March, I worked on nine projects. Um, five of them were new starts, four of them was whips. I have one finish to show. No haul, but I do have a little bit of stitch kindness that I will talk about. So yeah, let's get started. Um, yeah, since my last video, um, not much has changed. I'm still getting out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I should be starting to volunteer at a charity shop um, next week on Saturday, a week or so it'll be on Saturday. Um, slightly excited, extremely nervous, um, but yeah, it'll mean that I'll get to get out of the house a little bit more, so um, I'm looking forward to that. I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers and thank you to everybody who's come back to watch my update. It's really nice to see you all again. Um, I'm continuing doing my 55 starts in a year. Um, I'm now cracking on. I've not got many left. Um, I'm really enjoying it still and um, I don't know what I'm going to do when it's finished. Probably spend the next 10 years stitching on everything that I've started. But yeah, um, let's get into it. So the last time I filmed, I had just started number, start number 33 and it was the Jorin Jones um, Christmas Reef. I, I don't have a picture of this so I will insert one on here, what it looks like. Again, I don't know what magazine it's out of, but you can get it on her Etsy store. So, yeah, um, I didn't get very far with it. As I mentioned in my last video, I just started watching Game of Thrones and I couldn't stitch while I was watching it. Yeah, I watched all the uh, six series in a week and it was absolutely amazing. So I can't wait for the new series to start on the 14th of April. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. And since I finished watching that, what I've watched, I've watched all the series of Walking Dead, so I'm up to up to date with that. I've watched all six seasons of Lost, um, which I'd seen before, but I rewatched it. Um, and again, it's absolutely amazing. I watched the um, last episode a couple of nights ago, and I cried like a baby for about an hour and a half. Um, it was just, it really got to me. And uh, yeah, I spent an hour and a half crying my eyes out. It was brilliant. Um, so I'm really sorry I've not watched any Floss Tube. I feel really bad um, I haven't watched any Floss Tube this month. I have been binge watching series, so I need to get back onto Floss Tube. But yeah, so last time I, last time I spoke, I just started the Christmas Reef. So I didn't get very far with this because I've been watching so much stuff. But... And you know when you don't know which way's up, this is as far as I got. And I absolutely love the colours in this. I'm doing it on, I'm going to say 16 count Ada. Yeah, it's 16 count Ada that was gifted to me by Beth. So I don't know what colour it is. But I'm happy with it. I love the colours. I love this blue. I love this pink. The orange in the um, oranges is stunning and um, on my magazine start that I'm going to be starting this month I'm actually going to pick these colours because I just absolutely love these colours together so I'm doing a sampler and the colours that I'm going to do are going to be in this um, so yeah um, I'm looking forward to getting back to this I'm probably going to work on this a little bit more this month um, so I can at least get halfway through with it but yeah, really enjoying that. I'm using the DMC colours that it's called for. Um, yeah, so that was that start. Then at the weekend, um, I worked on my autumn tree, but I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so that brought us up to the 4th of March, and, I, and it was start number 34, and I started 
out of the Joan Elliott Oriental Odyssey cross stitch book, I started the Beauty Geisha. I've already started the Wisdom and I'm going to do the other one as well. But this is the one that I've been working on, so this was my next new start. And I was stitching it on 16 count pewter, which was gifted to me by Beth. And I do have some threads packed. And this is how far I got with her. So I started working in the background, worked my way across, um, started popping in her head, um, and yeah, just continued working on the background. But I absolutely love this. And like I said in my previous video, I'm going to finish Wisdom first before I pull this back out again. So this will be going away now for a while um, until Wisdom's done. And then I'll bring out Beauty again. So we worked on that all week, <coughs> um, Monday to Friday. And it worked out quite nicely because on the 8th of March was um, the start of Bendy Michelle's um, birthday sal. So on the 8th, she wanted uh, us to stitch on something that began with B. On the 9th, she wanted something that began with S. And on the 10th, it was either something that was gifted to you or um, it, it, it's BS. Um, so obviously beauty um, is her name. So I worked on this. So this is what I worked on for the Friday for the 8th of March for um, Benny Michelle's um, birthday so so that was that so then that brought us up to the ninth obviously and it had to be something that began with s um so i pulled out my secret garden um let's have a look if i have a picture of it somewhere so obviously i only worked on this one day this is what it will look like when it's finished um, I'm not going to insert a picture where I was up to before and because I'd finished the first two pages. Um, so it's pretty easy to see where I got up to. So I'd already done the first two pages and I started on this page here. So that's what I managed to do in one day. So that's where we're up to. It's on 18 count Ada. It was a free pattern. Um, the stitch count is 393 by 287 stitches um, I'm obviously doing a magic guide and this is going to be my main focus full coverage piece, coverage piece once I finish the 55 starts so at the end of this uh, which will finish in August so from August onwards I'm going to be working on this this is going to be my main project I'm looking forward to working on that some more and then on the Sunday, the 10th, it had to be something that was BS or something that was gifted to you. So I picked um, my Cupcake Dreams, uh, which was a free pattern of Tilton Crafts. I will show you a picture. So that's what it'll look like. And it's all white background. And in previous videos, if you've seen them, um, I said I started it on 18 count Ada, stitching the white background and um, Shell from Seashell Stitches um, offered to send me some green fabric for it because I thought it'd look nice on green fabric, which she did. Um, so that's why I picked this project because I was going to restart it on the green fabric that she sent me. Um, when I looked at it, the, it's... Um, when I looked at the fabric, it's absolutely perfect and it was exactly what I wanted. But when I've looked at the pattern, because it's so much confetti and the green fabric's not gridded, I just knew I was going to have some real difficulty stitching it because it's just one stitch here and one stitch there of every colour. So I've decided to continue carrying on with the um, the 18 count um, fabric easy guide and... Um, I'm going to use the fabric that she's gifted me for something else 
um, so I need to pick something for that. So I'm not going to show you a picture. Sorry, my nose is really itchy today. Flash tube itchy nose. Um, I'm not going to show you a picture of where I was up to because it was on white background and I'm still on white background. So I've just done another four or five um, blocks of 100 um, in one day. So that's where we got up to with that. So then we get to another new start and that was on the 11th, Monday the 11th of March and it was start number 35 and I started my Marie, Anto Marie Anne Antoinette <laughs> uh, full coverage piece, piece from, uh, from Etsy and it's Bella Stitch Redesigns, the Etsy shop. And it's Marie Antoinette at the Paris Opera. I haven't got a decent coloured picture to show you of what she looks like, so I will insert a picture here. So I worked on it for five days and got a modest, modest start. The fabric's huge, so it's tiny when you actually think about how big this piece is but that's what I managed to get done so 18 count Ada and I just started working my way down And I stitch in I, I stitch cross country. I pick a colour and I use it until it runs out. Stitch across, and then I'll um, I'll fill in the stitches that are missing and work my way down and keep going. So, um, yeah, that won't be coming out for a while, but at least it's a start. And I enjoyed stitching on it, but I was uh, watching um, Walking Dead while I was stitching it, and I found that I was watching Walking Dead more than I was stitching. So. Then at the weekends, I pulled out my autumn tree, um, which is Chinese kit. It is printed. It's on 11 counts Ada. Um, I will insert a picture of where I was. And this is what it looks like and i finished it now i haven't washed this yet um so it, it's still got the prints underneath it so it's not the true colors but here it is so it's finished it is washing and i will wash it for the next video i might see if i can film um washing a printed um project so if you've never seen what it's like um when it when you wash it i'll um i can do that um, I just need to get somebody to hold, the, hold my phone while I'm washing it so I can film it. But yeah, so that's finish number five for 2019. And I only have one tree left. I haven't stitched in the Chinese symbol here so because I wanted it to disappear when I wash it. So, finish number five. One left, so I've got winter to do now, and then that'll be it, it'll be done. All four of them, so I've seasonal trees. And I got all four of them from wish.com, um, which is kind of like AliExpress. Um, it's a website that you buy stuff from China. Um, they do have quite a few cross-stitch cross -stitch kits on there. They are really cheap. They also sell um, cheap floss as well, um, which is matched to the DMC colours so they um the same numbers um and they are matched but um you can buy them in bulk of like a hundred and it's mixed colours you don't know what you're gonna get um I've got hundreds of them that I've not used um but yeah if you're looking for some cheap thread for some small projects it's ideal so yeah um then we got up to Monday the 18th and I was starting a dimensions kit and it was the Paris flowers and 
this is what it looks like. So I'm doing it on the fabric that um, that came with the kit. Obviously, I'm using the floss. And I absolutely loved, 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 loved working on this. I didn't want to put this down. I do have part threads. So I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I um, I loved working on this. So as you're aware, I work in a hoop. <laughs> but yeah, so... All this, the background here, is half stitch, and then all this is full stitch. So I've just started doing the flowers. I'm working my way down. And this, I loved working on this. I just wanted to keep working on this. And it's strange because when I first did my first dimensions kit, which was the um, little Paris postcard, um, I didn't like dimensions. Um, but yeah, I uh, I absolutely love this. So there's this one that I'm working on and I'm also working on Indian Peak up by dimensions. Um, yeah, I'm going to end up probably working on more dimensions kits. Um, I wouldn't mind trying one of the... I've done a petite gold pattern. Um, then I've got them two dimensions ones and I wouldn't mind doing um, the dimensions gold pattern. I've never done one of them yet, Kit, so I'm looking forward to doing that. And then on the 25th of March, I started working on the autumn window, which was start number 37. I have just finished in my last video, if you saw it, I finished the spring window. It's by Susan Bates. Um, and this is the autumn one. Which is the one that I started. I mentioned in my last video that Andre Andrea was um, sending me the winter one because she had it for my heart cross stitch, um, which arrived. So this is the winter one. Thank you, Andre, for sending me. I love it. I love it and I can't wait. I cannot wait to start it. Um, it's going to be absolutely stunning once it's done. And I still need to buy the summer one. I think it's the summer one from Susan Bates Etsy store. I've got it on my wish list, but yeah, I'm missing that one. So I worked on it for five days. I didn't get very far. Um... I side in the middle, worked my way over to the top left so I could start from there and work my way down and this is as far as I got. So I started in the middle, worked my way down, counted up and then started on the top left. It's on 16 count Ada. I did um, 16 count Ada for the other one. Um, so yeah. So that's my little start on that. <laughs> so that was all my new starts. The only other thing that I worked on for that month of March was after I finished the autumn tree, I pulled out Indian Peacock by Dimensions and I worked on it the rest of the month um, up until last night. Um, I still have some part threads because um, by the time I was ready to go to bed, I was I was exhausted. As you can tell by looking at me, I'm still exhausted. Um, yeah, so I've still got part threads. I will insert a picture of where I was up to. And this is where I am now. It's it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. So yesterday I worked on putting in some of the back stitch. So I've started doing the back stitch there. Um, I finished the full top section with the background and the peacock, and then I've started to work down here on the flowers and work my way across. But 
Oh, I love this. I love this. And I don't want to put it down today, but I have to for my new start, next new start. But yeah, I absolutely love stitching this. And I'm so looking forward to having it finished and framed. Still quite a way to go. But the colours in it are stunning. And now that I'm putting the detail in the back, the detail in um, with the back stitch, I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's going to look like. And it's absolutely full of back stitch. So all this is back stitch. All the peacock, all through the feathers here are all back stitched. Then all this is back stitched. And then the bulk of the bird, which is here, which is all back stitched. So there's a lot of back stitching in this. But yeah. Oh, I don't want to put it down. Oh, I really want to carry on working on it today. But I have a new start, so for now, it will have to go away. So I'm just going to pause the video, put away all these projects that I've just pulled out, and then I will come back and talk about what I'm going to be stitching in April. I've got five starts for April. So um, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. All right, bye. Hey, I'm back. So yeah, um, that leaves me with April plans. I have five new starts planned. Um, start 37, 38, 39, 40 and 41. So that will leave me with 14 projects after April that um, left in my 55 new starts. So on the 1st of April, which is today, which is why I've got to put Indian Peacock away, I am going to be starting my next book pattern and I will be starting, and this is the last one I think that I'm going to be doing in this book, out of the Jane Netley Mayhew's um, Cross Stitch Safari, I am going to be starting the Leopard, which is absolutely stunning. So this is what I'm starting today. Um, I'm going to be starting in the middle of the cross stitch piece, um, which is just about here. So I'm going to start here and work my way across and do the face. Um, I believe Rita is stitching this, if I can remember, from her whip parade. Um, and it's absolutely uh, stunning what she's done. So um, I'm really looking forward to stitching this. I'm stitching it on 16 counts. Um, I'm not too sure what colour the fabric is because I am actually stitching it on a piece of fabric that um, Beth has gifted me so I don't know the colour but it's like a light brown um, so yeah that's the, what I am going to be starting today I'm just waiting for the threads to turn up in the post um, they should be there, it should be in my post box now so once I've finished this I'll go and have a look and then I can start it. So that will be start 37. Start 38, which is a internet pattern. I will be starting a Heaven and Earth Designs and it's mini stitch. Um, I'm going to do a mini this time instead of starting another big project because I've got some, I've still got quite a lot of big projects planned. So yeah, I'm going to do a mini. I've, I'll install. a picture here of what it looks like because I've only got this tiny little one here so um, yeah um, looking forward to that it's only 12 pages um, which in the greatest great scheme of things isn't an awful lot but if you don't do big if you don't do big coverage pieces 12 pages can still be quite daunting so yeah I'll be stitching it on 18 count Ada. Um, magic guide which is what I do all my full coverages on so um, yeah I'm looking forward to starting that on the 15th of April start number 39 is a kit pattern and seeing that it's the last one in the series and I finished the other three I am going to be starting my favorite which is the winter tree so yeah, so once they're all done, that's out of the way, and then I can carry on with my other series, which is the four samplers by um, Cooler Designs. 
um, which obviously I started the winter one in a previous video. Um, so they're a series that I'm working on and then I'm working on the four, the four windows by Susan Bates. So that's another series that I'm working on. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that series finished. Then on the 22nd of April, start number, thir start number 30, start number 40 is a magazine pattern. And I will be starting the Vera Land Sampler 1816. Um, I found this in Sampler and Antique Needleworks Quarterly Magazine. I'm not too sure which issue. I got it off Redler, um, which is a magazine subscription. And yeah, the Sampler and Antique Needleworks Magazine was part of that. So I have the Vera Land um, Sampler 1816. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like. when it's completed and this is the one that I'm going to be using the colours out of the winter reef so let's pull it out again so I'm not too sure yet which um which motifs I'm going to do in which colours if I'm going to do each motif as a solid colour or I'm going to split it up and do it different colours but I'm going to be using this orange this blue this pink these two pinks this brown and probably one of the greens so um they're the colors that i'm going to pick for this sampler so i'm really looking forward to doing that i'm not really a sampler person but i fell in love with this when i saw it um so yeah so i'm going to be doing that and then start number 41 is on the 29th of april it's from needlework book which is this one that i picked up from a charity shop for 50p and i'm going to be doing the owl which is a William Morris um, tribute. So this is what it will look like. And it's a lot bigger than you actually think it is. It doesn't tell you how, what the stitch count is, but it is 32 inches by 19 and a half. Um, the pattern is huge um, and what I'm going to do is on the actual pattern the black is stitched um, but instead I'm going to use black Ada and I think I'm going to do it an 18 count I've never worked on black Ada before um, so I'm looking forward to doing that um, I think it will really the colours all really pop on the on the black ada. So yeah, so that's start number forty one. And there's some really nice projects in this in this book. Absolutely lovely. There's one in here that I've got to show Amy from Amy Loves Toads. Um, if there's about six or seven projects in this that I wanted to stitch, if I didn't want to stitch all these projects and I was just going to do that one, I would send this book to Amy, but I'm sorry Amy, I've, there's so many in here that I want to stitch, um, and if you don't have this book, and I've finished everything in it that I want to stitch, um, and you still don't have it, I will send you this, but here you go Amy, it's a frog, it's like a little pillow, or I don't know, maybe a pin cushion, um, but yeah, lily pad frog so amy if i finished everything and you don't have this i will i will definitely send you the book um but i've got a feeling that somebody might give it you before then or you might buy it yourself but there's also the bird catching the fish that i want to stitch which i think is really cool and then there's also I can find it. I don't know if I can show a picture. I can't show a picture because there's um there's no picture for it.
but it's also the Cool Britannia pillow as well. And if you do buy this in America, there's also an American one as well. So yeah, so that's my plans for April. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's a short video for me. Um, yeah, this not buying stuff's been brilliant. Um, I've just been buying the floss and the fabric that I need for the projects that I'm starting. So yeah, um, I'm going to enjoy stitching in April. Um, then obviously I'll do my update at the end of April um, and tell you what I'm going to be stitching in May. 14 projects left to go. Um, yeah, I'm nearly there. Um, I'm excited to finish them. And then I can get a rotation going. I've been trying to think about what I'm going to do once I've finished starting everything. And I think my plan is I'm going to pick four projects a month to work on. Um, one will be my oldest whip. So every month my oldest whip that I've got will be in there. Um, then I think I will pick a full coverage piece that I want to focus on and that will be in there every month. So I've got a feeling that's going to be Secret Garden. I will also probably pick um, the project that's closest to being finished, whichever one that is. And then I'll just have a random one that I want to um, work on, something that's been calling to me. So they're the four projects that I'll work on in that month. Obviously, if I finish one of them, I will then pull something else out to take its place. As for starting stuff, the only thing that I've got planned after August is my um, new start on my birthday, which I'm going to be doing a birthday style, um, which I mentioned in a previous video. I'm going to be doing um, start a Teresa, Wins Teresa Wensler. Um, I'm going to be doing the companions piece. And um, like I mentioned if anybody wants to join me on my birthday, Sal, she has um, loads of free patterns online and they're smalls. There's, there's some little samplers. Um, there's a little mini dragon, which I've mentioned in the past. So, so there's loads of small ones if you want to um, join in on that. And then I used to, before I started doing the 55 new starts, I used to start something new every month. And I don't know if I'm going to go back to that or I'm just going to work on these and see how far I get because um, obviously i um, gone from seven, I think I had seven whips, seven or nine whips I had and I've gone from that up to starting 55 in a year so I've got a fair few whips now. Um, I'm hoping by the end of this year that I'll only have 40 whips which means I've got another 11 to finish by the end of the year. Um, so 11 projects by the end of the year is not too bad, um, especially once I finish starting everything because then um, I can focus on finishing stuff. I won't have to keep changing projects. I can just work on something until it's finished. Um, so yeah, and then next year I want to hopefully get from 40 to 30. Um, I will be starting stuff next year. Um, I just don't think I'm going to start anything by the end of the year except from my birthday um, project I think that'll be it um, the only other thing that I'll start if I do start anything is is some of the um, season the seasonal things that I've got going so if I finish one of the samplers by Cooler Designs I might start the next sampler and if I finish and um, when I finish one of the Susan Bates windows I'll start the next one in that but other than that I'm not planning on starting anything even though I've got so much stuff that I bought um, there's no plans there so yeah, by the end of next year, I'm hoping to have 30. Um, so yeah, so that's it from me. I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's having a good start to the beginning of April. Spring is on its way over here in England. The weather's starting to warm up. It's now light, late. It's now later light. It's now lighter at late at night. Um, yeah, it's staying light up till about seven o'clock now in the evening, which is really nice. A lot more daylight, um, you know, obviously makes people feel a lot better. Um, so yeah, I will see you at the end of April, everybody. So take care, much love, and bye bye.